everybody, Film Rivers here. Today I'm gonna compare a couple different guns. Um, I don't have my standard Glock to compare them to because I'm using two different guns here that are not Glocks, but uh, I think they're very good guns, either one of them. Uh, I just wanna show you the basics of them. Ignore the laser flashlight on the H&K. Uh, and this is the CZP 10C. And this is the Glock, or uh, sorry, uh, H&K VP9. So they're both cleared. So I just wanted to go over them real quick here. They both have uh, the mag release or slide release on either side so they're ambidextrous in the slide release or slide st stop now the mag release is the regular button style on the CZ and it's only on the left side and it's paddles on the H and K which are ambidextrous let's see if you can see these side by side there they're very comparable in size. The H and K is a little longer. I'll show you that. A little longer. But not much. Has a little bit bigger palm swell to it. Now I have on the the H and K, these are the small back straps and side panels. So it's as small as it gets. Uh, these are these are factory sights on both of them. They're both three dot sights and they both are luminescent. If you light them up, uh, it's hard to see in this light, but they will glow. This is the LE model for the H and K. Uh, and we'll do some trigger pulls here in a second. Dump the mags out. I'm not sure what happened to my video and audio of the trigger pull session, but the CZ came in at 5 pounds, 4 ounces, and the VP9 came in at 4 pounds, 15 ounces. And like I said in the video that's missing here, they're both excellent guns. They're excellent choices for home defense, which is what they are for me. Uh, one's downstairs, one's upstairs gun. But they're both excellent choices for home defense and just all around all purpose gun so I wouldn't have any problems recommending either one of these guns so please like share subscribe till we meet again